We have new information tonight about the arrest of Ron Gibson earlier this week. He is the president of the Utah Farm Bureau Federation and is accused of allegedly assaulting one of his employees. Fox 13 News reporter Lucy Nelson joins us in studio tonight to show us how that arrest led to an investigation into other serious charges. Down this dirt road in Ogden sits Green Acres Dairy Farm, where deputies responded to a 911 call from a worker Tuesday saying his boss, Ron Gibson, assaulted him. When deputies arrived, after talking to witnesses, determined that there was enough evidence that Ron Gibson had committed the assault, so he was taken into custody and booked into the Weaver County Jail. According to the affidavit, that evidence included a video recording by the employee where Gibson tells him to shut up in Spanish and then backhands him across the face, causing the worker's mouth to bleed. The worker said it started because he and others weren't getting paid. During the investigation, we found out that some of the workers were there to talk to Mr. Gibson about not receiving paychecks for the last couple weeks up to a month. We alerted the Department of Public Safety's Special Bureau of Investigations, who has now opened up a case for fraud and human trafficking. Lieutenant Ryan says this case was opened because they discovered the employees are on worker visas. They're not citizens of the United States. The victim of the assault, he received minor injuries, and was taken up to the hospital just to be checked out and later released. In a statement, Gibson says he's taking a leave of absence from his role as the president of the Utah Farm Bureau Federation. He said, I deeply regret the incident and apologize for allowing an argument to escalate to an altercation on my farm. I'm disappointed in myself. I have deep respect for the men and women willing to work on farms across America, including mine. Gibson was released from Weber County Prison shortly after his arrest Tuesday. In Ogden, Lucy Nelson, Fox 13 News, Utah.